Hey guys, it's Tom. We're here at the Nokia N900 Push Winner booth. I have here with me Brett, and I want to say Sarah. They are the winners of the Push N900 contest, winning them a grand prize of $10,000 US. And they have here their bicycle contraption. Yeah. And what is it here, Brett? The bike dashboard was our, our uh, invention for the competition. So we actually found out about the competition just reading blogs and we saw a post on it and it said to take the N900 and, and hack it and uh, attach it to something that you love. So we immediately decided bikes were going to be our, our thing. So what it is is it's pretty much it's got a, it's an advanced bike computer, reads some sensor data to get speedometer, odometer, it's hooked up to lights, all this through Bluetooth. And then it uh, connects um, using, it, it creates a little log file of GPS, and uh, you can Google map your route and, and see everywhere that you went. So, All right. Um, what did you actually, how did you end up creating this? What is your background? Um, were so, you I'm, I, my background's in information systems, but this was all new to me. I, I had a little bit of programming background, but this, uh, the app that we have is actually written in Python, because this, uh, the N900 is basically just a tiny Linux computer, so yeah. it's awesome. I mean, incredible. Really fun to program for it. And then this is an Arduino microcontroller, which has got a really big uh, fan following on the internet, and we found lots of good uh, resources, figured out how to hook everything together. All right. Um, where do you, what could you have improved on on this? So we had three and a half weeks to do this all. all right. And uh, we, we really have a lot of good ideas that we want to keep going on. One of them, the biggest one that we want to do, is get the bike to be powering the cell phone while we ride. All right. Along with all this, we, we can hook up a little motor and get that power. We just didn't have time to implement it. All Other right. things that we were thinking about is integration with Foursquare or Gowalla, so you can check into locations as you pass them on your route. Um, what else do we have? Email pictures and, and having a, a kind of a nice package for having your route and all the pictures you took along it. So. I see you have it mounted to your bike. Yeah. Is it, where did you get the bracket for that? Did okay. you have to make the bracket? I did. Yeah, I'll show you. Um, this is this is a bit of a hack. So we, we found a, just a hard plastic case that we've got and then this was actually the back of a reflector that you would mount on the back here with this mount and I took a Dremel and just cut the whole reflector part off and gorilla glued it to the back so and it works I mean that was the the main thing that we wanted to do is get that to work could you see yourself creating this um, hack that you did on here into say an app for maybe the OV store for other n900 enthusiasts and bike enthusiasts absolutely yeah absolutely um, for this competition we are using all the sensors because we've got a stationary bike but you could get a lot of the speed and distance just from the GPS. So definitely we could do that. Um, and we're, we're gonna work on that and see what we can do. And you could also, I mean, you could make a kit or something and, and have people put it together. And All right. If we had step-by-step -step instructions, it would have been a lot easier. Exactly. <laughs> Brett, I appreciate you showing your first place design here. Appreciate Again, it. Sarah, thank you. Yeah. You guys have a great time here at the Nokia booth at CTIA. Thanks Again, a lot. this has been Tom for cellphonetrack.com. Thanks, have a great day.